Adair Rush <laughs> plays uh, a character named Hannah, and her father calls himself Mr. Shivers, and there's something very mysterious going on there. And her father doesn't really let her leave the house or do anything, but Hannah kind of does things on her own. She takes matters into her own hands, and when she meets Zach, she breaks him out of his shell. Uh, and she's a very brave and courageous character, and she's very mysterious, but there's a lot more to her than meets the eye, and uh, she's great. Thank you. Champ is, uh, you know, he's a loyal friend, but he he's is. also a scaredy cat, yeah. uh, but he doesn't really care what people think about him. He's just going to be himself, and he ends up getting the girl for just being himself, so he's just an inspiration to kids to be themselves all the time, even if they're scared. Couldn't have said it better myself. Dylan Minette plays Zach, who moves from New York to Madison, Delaware. Um, he's going through a lot with his dad, and um, very brave guy. He. Uh, <laughs> he keeps, he keeps, uh, he keeps entering the house even though he's told not to. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Goosebumps has a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, it's got the action, the romance, the, the comedy, the, uh, what else am I scares. missing? The scares, are not too scary, which is great. Zach, Dylan's character, moves from a big city to a small town, and there he encounters his neighbor, Hannah, which um, he kind of likes, but then he finds out that her dad is actually really scary, and, you know, there's something very mysterious, and one night he hears her scream, so he's going over there to help her, and as he's going over there, his friend, Champ, that he just made at school, uh, wants to go to the dance, so he ends up just coming into the house with him, and they accidentally open a manuscript, which ends up being a Goosebumps manuscript, and all the Goosebumps monsters come out, and they find out he's actually R.L. Stein, and the four of them go on an adventure to get all the monsters back into the book. Terrible. That's, I, I, <laughs> I, how do I follow that? I think people are going to show up to this movie, especially at our age because they they might have grown up reading the books and I think Goosebumps is such a familiar title and there's just something there it's not just a kids movie it's it's a family movie which means that everyone of any age range can see it family movie doesn't mean only, strictly families it just means everybody can see it there's things that teenagers can relate to the characters are teenagers so I think that teens can especially see it and adults will love it and kids will love it and the whole world should see Goosebumps I think it uh, will inspire kids to be brave and uh, also know that when you're going through hard times and hard situations, no matter if it's fighting monsters or like a fa you know, family death, whatever it is, you know, when you go through those hard times together with people, it makes it better because it's, it's a part of your life and they're kind of embracing it and making it a positive thing. You know, there, there are m many times where they're fighting for their lives, but then they kind of pause and look at the humor in the situation or pause and, you know, look at, oh, you know, the love in the situation. <laughs>